Scott Brown here. This is a typical builder's van in New Zealand and when I was in the UK I noticed the vans looked a lot more like this. So in today's exciting episode we're going to compare the two. Are you ready? Yep. Let's do it. Alright guys, so a lot of you guys would have seen my van already. We've got all the level area here. I've got a whole video of me putting it all together. You might have seen it. If you haven't, this is pretty much it. That's your around about 2.7 meter straight edge for the track saw. That goes in there. And then you've got your 1400 here and your Dewalt miter stand. All in this center area here. And then on the side I've got the drawers. And these drawers pretty much have sustainers in them. So, you know, router, drills, that kind of thing, charger, and then I've got my little, this is like a new addition, very exciting. Got my little battery bay here, you see that? And then you take the battery out, and you have the Hakoki batteries in here. That's new addition, he's just trying to compete. New, new addition. <laughs> I'm just trying, I'm trying to compete with Cameron here, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit insecure. I know I'm going to lose this battle, but I'm bloody <laughs> trying, okay? And like that side, I've made this drawer the right width for sustainers. Um, I recently got this festival sustainer from the cameraman here. I thought I gave you two. It's kind of perfect. What? Huh? I thought I gave you two. You gave me two. The other one's in here somewhere, but oh. I haven't done anything with it yet. This is filled with a uh, whole bunch of screws. You know, all different really sizes. <laughs> Ready for anything. And then I've just kind of got stuff thrown in the back here. Here's where I made a mistake, and full disclosure, I haven't fixed this drawer yet. So when I drive around, it's still slides out and hits the door but the guy who I bought the drawer rails off he actually sent me for free sent me a new drawer rail and that drawer rail is full extension so the whole drawer will be out here and then I can use this back area the same way I use the front area but in the meantime in the meantime Cameron <laughs> uh, I just kind of throw stuff in the back here Carpenter 13's uh, plate here and then down the side here is where I put the nail guns uh, right now I've got the DeWalt in there, Ooh, that's the framing gun, so that's in there for now. And the Paso finishing gun on the other side. Like that, see that? That's the YRZ mask that I did in yesterday's episode. So I can just mask up at any time. So that's the back of the van. Um, the whole idea of this setup is to have a platform at the top with all the tools under it because this van's got windows all the way around it, so when you look through the windows you just see a flat platform unless you go on YouTube and you understand what's under that flat platform. <laughs> and the other purpose, apart from security, is being able to put a sheet of ply or a sheet of jib or a door or something on top and still have access to all the tools. And over here on the sliding door we have the drop saw, the 10 inch DeWalt drop saw. And we have the Festool MIDI vacuum cleaner. And then we have all my shoes and radios and things to attach, you know, timber to the roof racks, you know, straps and stuff. And then this weird little shelf that I built to hold sandpaper and all my pencils. I got a lot of pencils. And whole saw catching up to me. <laughs> I'm catching up to you. Again. And whole saw kits, masks, uh, GoPro, little accessories, framing nails and gas. And then the other side we have. On the other side we have the 10 inch job site DeWalt table saw. And the stand for the table saw is there with a little wee pump holding it. See this little. Oh, like that? This, is it the wedge? Yeah, it's the wedge. So it doesn't rock around while I'm driving. Hmm. And then we got the uh, the festal drawers that hold all my miscellaneous hand tools. You unlock that and you pull out the vacuum parts for the vacuum cleaner on the other side. And we also have the track saw at the back behind that as well, so yeah, that's that's my van. But enough of my van. You guys don't really care about my van, you've seen my van. Let's have a look at Cameron's van. Let's do this. <laughs> Alrighty, back. We got our letter clamps, yeah. little miscellaneous stuff, you know. Oh yeah, you got the yeah, the paint like box. Box. 
I like the clear feature oh, yeah, on the just side. so I can find stuff. I like Scotty's. My tracks are here because I got smaller ones. And then come inside. First, uh, I know you guys were saying that this might be empty. Did someone say that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <On the cover. laughs> okay. Alrighty, first box. There's my cordless Traxel. Ooh, this gets used the most, that's why it's right at the front. Then we got this is a new edition. Yeah. Um what is it called again? HKC55. Oh uh, sweet. So you use that with one of these, right? The two front ones, okay. Yeah. Underneath that, I got my hardcore cutting <laughs> Bosch multi-tool. This thing saves your life. Alrighty, this box is um, uh, it's like a little fake box because there's got a Makita router in here. Oh, but, you, know, <laughs> you imposter! <laughs> Underneath that one, since I always use the router with like hinge mortises and everything. Yeah. So this has got Ooh. my chisel set. Look at that, that Kaizen foam is a thing of beauty. Now, let's go underneath here. This is all my layout tools. So, rotary laser, green laser, multi-master here. So when do you use this one? Is this everyday use kind of thing. Yeah. But only reason why I got this one is, if you check out the blade size, it's got a deeper plunge. Oh, so you can't do that with the fin? No, because this is a Starlock Max, while the yeah. fin is only a Starlock. I see. My powder actuator tool yep, so and a spare finishing breader. I'll show you my other breader later where I keep that one. This one yep. is just just in case that one messes up. So that's that side of the back? Yep. Now this side. I'm starting from the top, got my marking spray cans, cleaning stuff, cordless DeWalt. I always use it for rough work, so that's why it's here. My um, miter stool stand. So this one's a bit smaller than mine, right? Yeah, this is a finishing one apparently. That's what I've been told. The it. And then we come down here to my KPEX. Ah. This is the smaller one. It's the 60 KS60. So why do you why do you have the KS60 on board and not the 120 or? Uh, KS60 does majority of the work. KS120 is mainly for like 100 mil timber and stuff. So this is for my table saw. Yep. Because I have this smaller hose here. Right, so that's just something you've put together yeah, to make it fit. Make it fit. This is a new addition also. I've got the Bluetooth and all that funky jazz. Oh mate, you gotta you gotta talk a bit more about the Bluetooth. How's it uh, been? Ah, uh, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Slide it out. Ta-da! Oh my god. So, so you don't have to keep walking to the vacuum cleaner. So you press that button and then that goes on. Yep. So you can have a cordless tool hooked up. Or I can have the, you know, the Festool batteries, if yeah, I have yeah. the Bluetooth module one. Yep. I can just program it to that. I see. Alright. It saves time. Like, I know it may sound lazy, but it saves time. So that one is for, like, my jigsaw, my track saw, and all that. While this one is solely dedicated to my miter saw. And what else you got in here, buddy? A couple okay. of framers, eh? So I got a framer here, uh, set up for just doing general framing. Then I got a pass load frame over there set up for finish work. So I got the no my tip in there. Ah, smart. And then I got my little radar right here. Oh, and here's the rain. Here's the rain. All right, moving to the side, bro. We'll start here, bro. So all my okay. drills. There's a lot of Milwaukee 18 volt kit. So I have two uh, drills, Gen 3. Yeah. Uh, mid torque. Uh, Impact wrench, Gen 3 impact driver, and I think it's called a Surge impact driver. Nice. Oh, you got the little Occidental. Yeah, uh, those are my um, recycled bags. <laughs> and there's the battery stand. Whoa, look at the size of that. Talking about ridiculous, check out this 12 pad. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, put, it, put your drill on it. Bro, you should take a photo of that for your Instagram. Where's your phone? That is just ridiculous. Yep. Ridiculous. We're still standing outside. This is this is what I mean by easy access. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't have to go in the van. We're all um, getting rained on here, but that's fine. Uh, I have something missing from here. Scott's got it. <laughs> so my van. <laughs> I'll grab that for you in a minute. And what do you got there? A bit of a whiteboard? Yeah, my little whiteboard because I keep forgetting stuff. Is that you calculating? Actually, it was. Damn it. <laughs> okay, this one is my uh, blues, whites, clear, and then just fillers. A lot of nozzles because I keep losing that sucker. Oh. Alrighty, let's go inside. Well, what about all this? What's all, oh, okay. what's all this action here? Oh, uh, this action here is just something that I always tend to grab. 
like you know to measure stuff and this here for the whiteboard yeah and that is my spare pencil pika pens there yep. mechanical pencils Alrighty, so one of them i gotta thank scotty for it he hooked me up with one of them oh yeah that's right this is all my screws each box has its purpose so this is for tiles and all that because it's got all little nylon washers and everything general framing uh door hanging i usually have a door hanging jig in here and for doing all your framing bits where you need to put um bracing yeah bracing hardware random screws that i hardly use that's why they're right at the bottom first up is this one my cordless sander always need that and then another little screws collection countersink bits, wood bits and everything got up this little hand planer um or power planer but it's a little one spare blades because sometimes you might be in like <laughs> middle of nowhere and you, you nick it to you nick a nail yeah <laughs> that is the domino hallelujah there's all my domino biscuits over there no the Cavix, yeah yeah, yeah. That's a new addition. Check out that. Oh my god. What are we looking at here, Kim? Uh, so we got bench hand plane um, stops, bench clamps, normal clamps, you know. And then underneath that is a fi uh, fish tool jib fix gun. And the last but not least, I don't use this admittedly that much after I got the Makita, only because this is corded. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. So and you got your reciprocating saw, your metal cutting. Is that uh, the metal cutting skillet? Yeah, that's the metal cutting. The hammer drill. Yep. So I first saw these on Ron Pork, is it? Ron yep, Pork? Yep. Yeah, Actually, yeah. that's where I got, got the idea from anyway. Ah, so because I'm subscribed to him. He makes the really cool benches and all that. Yeah. And um, he had all these in his setup. Hey, look, they're yep. American. He's American as well. There we go. Is that it? We've done it. Yeah, I think we're done. The front is just a driver's seat and you know, since now Scotty's got me into Instagram, <laughs> I have my own camera set up over there. Do you? Like, it's a little mini one, you know, like with the oh, drone. The like the drone and everything. So that's uh, Van vs Van. Comment below, the winner. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Cameron won this one. But hey, we'll see, won't we? Thanks, bro. All good. Anytime.